country strumming again for this song. We're going to be hitting a root note D and then a strum. That's a one and, and then we're going to hit the A and then strum down and then strum up. That's two and a. Uh. So we have one and two and a, uh, and that's three and four and a. Uh, that's a measure, okay? So this the song really only has two chords, D and G. Um, I there's a serious radio version that his son is playing this, and he adds he adds some uh, embellishments there with his middle finger on the fourth string. So you're just hitting and pulling off twice. Then go to the fifth string, hit and pull off, and then back into your... Sometimes he just does the D. So again, it's it, this song's a real feel song. Um, and then you switch to your G, so now you're hitting a G, strum, that's your and, then your D note, and then strum and up strum. So you got one and two and a one and two and a. There's a live version of Waylon playing this on a TV show on the internet, and he's got a capo at the second fret. So he's playing this in the key of B. Okay, B and then E. So because we're here, we can play A form. This capo acts as our finger here. And then a D form is actually an E because we have a D and we've moved it up a step. And again, the capo at the second fret. So A to D. So you have this. So that's um, another version that he does of this song. Okay, if you're interested in adding the bass, um, let's say you're playing solo guitar, there's a bass that kind of rolls through the uh, D scale. We're going to hit open D, C, C on the uh, fifth string, B, and then A. Then we're going to hit G and F, and then back to D. Okay, the lead for this is not real difficult. Uh, the difficulty comes in in the second half of the lead, if you will. The, uh, there's another guitar that's overlaid. So I'll show you both parts. Again, they're not too hard. We're going to be playing uh, D uh, pentatonic, D minor. Okay, and the, really the first and last position. Okay, so the lead starts out like this. Okay, that's the first half. So again, when here's our D minor, we're just going to move back, and we're on the second string at the eighth fret. And we're going to hit that onto ten. Okay, do it again. Take your to that ninth fret and bend that up to a uh, half step. So we have this. And then we come back to the seventh fret. Okay, the next part of the lead is where the second guitar comes in. So this is where the overdubbed guitar, I think, is doing. Um, it'll sound like this. Okay, so what he's doing is he's sliding up again to that 10th fret. Then he's doing a similar lick like we did earlier with the bend up to our F and then back to the um, 7th fret. Okay, then we're going to come back to that 9th fret and keep bending that up. Then there's a bend and a release and then pinky on the 
fourth string at the tenth fret. And just hold that. Now this other guitar is doing this, and this is what I would play if I was doing this, you know, one guitar. So. So he's sliding up, and just like the, the other guitar, then he's going to do a little country kind of a bend. We're going to put our pinky on the 12th fret on the 2nd string, and our ring finger on the 3rd string at the 12th fret, and bend just the 3rd string up, and then a release. To the 10th fret on the 3rd string, and then catch 4, uh, I'm sorry, 4th string at the uh, 12th fret. Then we're going to go 10 on the 3rd to 4th, and then we're going to go to the 5th at 12, and end on the D note on the 6th string, 10th fret. So it's kind of different, but, but again, it's a feel song. And that's uh, pretty much the whole song, so play along with it, I think you'll enjoy.